is going on YouTube? This is Sam Team Samrox here coming to you guys with a six Samurai deck profile for the January 2014 uh, format. Uh, so you guys all know that the ban list has, has been now announced. So I'm gonna show you guys my six Samurai deck profile that I'll be playing for this format. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to show you guys my deck profile and just go through you guys some of the card choices that uh, I decided to play. So let's get started. So start off, I play of course, uh, Triple Kagemusha of 6 Samurai, uh, your tu basic tu tuner of the deck, and basically if you guys don't know what he does is that he has a second useful effect as well. When exactly one 6 Samurai mo mo monster is targeted by a monster, spell or trap card effect, you can change the target to this card instead. And when you have Sheen out, and sometimes your opponent like to, um, likes to uh, try to build out your Sheen's negation with like Compulse, um, feed of Shane and stuff like that. If you have Kagamusha on board and you have Sheen on board and you try to target Sheen, you can change the target to uh, Kagamusha instead. So let's say they activate Compulse on Sheen. Don't negate it. Um, uh, use Kagamusha effect to change the compulsory uh, target to make it target to him and he will be returned to uh, your hand instead. And so any anything that targets, uh, tries to target your, any 6 hand monster, change the target to Kagamusha instead. That's why Kagamusha is a beast in this deck. Um, and also, it's a tour of the deck and it's of course a uh, asceticism target in the deck. Next, I played the double elder. Uh, some people don't, don't like to play two elders, but I still love playing two elders. He basically is your free special summon, gets you more counters with Uniteds, and uh, he makes you go into an Atreid Beast. Uh, fast and he's also an assassin target for uh, Kagemusha. Next, I play a double six samurai Kageki. Uh, it becomes 3500, I think. No, 30, 3700 on board. Um, with uh, with thing on with shadow of six samurai on the field, and uh, he's just uh, pretty broken. Um, Kage uh, Kageki makes you instant Sheen's. Uh, having three smoke signals in his deck, you can get instant Sheen out like this, and it's really, really good. So, trouble, uh, double Kageki. I might even think of him bumping him up to three, but uh, right now I'm just testing him out as two. Two has been working fine. Uh, as, the format at, as the format progresses, I'm going to be doing you know updates on this deck as well and just changing some of my card options last but not least for my uh, level threes i play a uh, one hand of six samurai uh she's really good she's your hand destruction of the deck she's like sorry i mean i meant she's your monster destruction of the deck uh she destroys monsters and the only the only reason why i prefer her over Mi uh, mizuho is that she can uh dis use her effect more than once during uh, a turn so she's great so i like to play the one hand of six uh Next, I play the one Grandmaster, and of course, uh, Grandmaster's younger self, Triple Kazan. Uh, this is absolutely uh, the broken lineup. Uh, Kazan just uh, spams the board, and it helps you uh, get field presence uh, on your field. And he becomes, of course, 2100 meter on the field when you have two or more six samurais on the field. And he's just really good. Same thing with Grandmaster. If you guys don't know what Grandmaster does, uh, basically, if he gets bombless, he gets to use his effect to add a six samurai monster from your graveyard to your hand. If he gets solemn warning, he still gets to add uh, his uses effect to add a six samurai from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, he's really, really broken. Uh, Grandmaster is absolutely amazing. I I love Grandmaster. Um, it's really good. But the downside of all him is that sometimes I hate playing him because I would dead draw him and I won't have any samurai on, on board to summon. So uh, Grandmaster is still pretty OP though. Uh, really good. Next, I play the one Sanji and the one Inishi to round off my monster lineup. Uh, Inishi is, of course, the best six samurai, samurai monster in his deck. Uh, he's your compulsory. He's just too good. The, uh, f the fact that you're able to use his effect during other players' turn to bounce back monsters, absolutely amazing. And Sanji is a, a great asceticism target uh, with Kazan as well. And yeah. And if you guys don't uh, can see, I do not play great Shogun Shien. I don't think that card is uh, good because it's really inconsistent sometimes. I do not try to have an OTK build with six samurais. Gate weight is banned and you don't want to have a otk otk approach with samurais because if you have that you're going to lose and i like to ha the way I, how i like to play this deck is control based summon she and summon not be set five and stuff like that and you, that's how you, that's how you basically win with this deck uh by control not try to otk your opponent like uh how the deck used to be back in the day so um after the spells i played a self explanatory one rota and a triple smoke signal searches out your samurais uh, next I played you got to play the triple United uh, United is just broken uh, like I had I always kept these United's as super like I got them 
long time ago and now I'm like I'm never gonna get, get rid of them for some reason it's just like Samurai is always gonna be my deck like I just can't give up on them because it's too good um, next I play double set is uh, I might bump this up to three uh, but two is working really fine right now uh, it helps you brings out your the tree beast Sheen and your uh, uh, synchros faster uh, I play the one book of moon double for the lance and of course the Double mystical space typhoon for back removal. Uh, I like to mean uh, MST now. Uh, it's really really good. Uh, so yeah, this is all for my spells. Yeah. After uh, my traps, I like to play the one save zone. Uh, save zone is good. Uh, it's really really good actually. Uh, if you have save zone in, on Shein, save zone on Nat Beast is basically game, unless they have like Lala or something. Um, it's just really powerful. Uh, having it's really hard to break uh, this combo with Shein and Save Zone. And if Save Zone is crypt with Shein, um, and the, your opponent uh, tries to get rid of Save Zone, and you have another Samurai on board, you can destroy another Samurai instead to save your Shein uh, from the Save Zone's effect of destruction. Uh, it's really good. And the good thing about Save Zone is that it's chainable. So let's say your opponent MSTs this, this face down Save Zone, you activate Save Zone. You chain onto your opponent's monster and then they'll basically die so that's why save zone is really good it helps protect your monster and can be used as in a versatile way by chaining into like mst or like dust tornado and stuff like that so one save zone next i play double double edged sword and double moose kani magatama magatama is your solemn judgment um the way that i usually play this deck is that sometimes if i'm afraid of going into Shein uh for the first turn uh, if I'm going second, it's because I'm afraid of getting warning, get, uh, afraid of getting bombless and stuff like that. So let's say I have a Sheen play in my hand already that I can make Sheen, and I have a Magatama and a Six Samurai monster in my hand. I'm going to set the Magatama and all the back rows and summon a Six Samurai monster and just end my turn. And try to protect that Six Samurai monster for as long as possible. And next turn, I summon... Shin, if they warning, I have a Magatama set to protect my Shin. So, uh, they're warning, actually, Magatama, they pay the cost 2000 life points, and my Shin will be alive. Yeah, and I like to play the double double edge because it's great for OTKs, um, and it's, it helps you go into your um, synchros way faster. And s same thing with XYZs as well. That's why I like to play the double edge sword technique. It's too good. Love double edge. Uh, one compulse, one bombless, one warning. Um, these are like my heavy traps. I double prison and the triple fiendish chain. Um, I might take out prisons for the mirror force, but um, I'm trying to test it out right now. Prisons is working really great, but honestly, my MVP of course is the fiendish chains. Uh, especially in this deck, fiendish chain. Uh, monster effect is the only thing that hurts this deck. Uh, spawn traps don't doesn't really because um, you have a chain and not beast on board. GG. You have Barkion and beast on board with like two fiendish chains set. GG. Um. It's just too good. And I think this deck is going to be really, really uh, uh, competitive next format. It, it, it can cope with format, especially against Noble Knights. This deck will wreck Noble Knights. Uh, after this spell, the tree beast says negate. Sheen says negate. Um, stuff like that. So this is my trap lineup. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Um, off to my side deck, I played, of course, the third MST. Uh, having that extra uh, back removal was great. For especially decks that like burn that play a lot of back row, uh, double rally of warlords, uh, Rex Constellers. Uh, Constellers is a pretty good matchup against this deck because uh, Pleiades just takes a shit on Shin. Um, double Snowman, double Maxi. Uh, I play the one dimensional Fissure and the uh, one Macrocosmos, Mermills. Um, double Light Imprisoning Mirror and double Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Uh, you have to play the Light Imprisoning Mirror now because uh, Bujins is a deck. And uh, Light Sworn is going to become more popular now, so I might even bump him up to three. Uh, who knows? And last but not least, I play the double Vaddy's Emptiness for any decks that likes to special summon a lot. So this is my overall side deck. Of course, this side deck will improve as the format progresses, and I will be doing updates on the side deck and this deck profile as the format progresses as well. So that's it for my side deck. Yeah. Uh, off to my extra deck, of course, I play... Where's my Sheen? So yeah, I play the one Sheen, the dream team right here. One Sheen, one Barkion, and one Tree Beast. Uh, you have the dream team right here. I actually got all three of this on board in in one game at Locals. is absolutely disgusting. Um, but that's when I think Gateway was still back. But I'm not sure if you can get this anymore. Yes, it's, it's possible. It's possible still with Double Edge and you know you have Sheen on board or the Tree Beast on board already. It's possible. So uh, this is dream team. 
Taster, the Black Rose, the Scrap Dragon, and the Crimson Blader. Uh, Crimson Blader is really good. I try to go with him as often as possible. Having Crimson Blader or and a Barkeon on board uh, against decks like um, Light Swarms, Dragons, Mermails is absolutely crucial. You have them on board, attack Crimson Blader, uh, activate your trap, Barkeon win the gate. Just crazy combos. Yeah, so that's it for my singles. After my extra deck, I played the one Gemini Pro, one Black Ship Corn, one Cowboy, one Djinn, one Dweller, one Zen Means, one Shadow, and the one Excalibur. So yes, that is it for my extra deck. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this deck profile, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this deck. I think this deck is going to be great. Uh, I'm going to be playing it more often now. Um, since uh, the balance improved and the only thing that was stopping this deck is basically dragons uh, that's why um it didn't really have a chance against like the meta because of dragon and dragon just basically wrecks this deck because all monster effects and just overpowering the board with big beaters on board so and it's crazy yeah so i hope you guys like this deck profile uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos guys um don't forget to give, to give this video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching i'll be sure to update this deck with you guys as the format progresses thank you guys for watching and you know, enjoy the boundless and Team Samson Sam signing out. Peace.